Aquarius, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for March 2018. So Aquarius, before we jump in, I hope you're taking advantage of your 30,000 subscriber gift that's up until March 10th. As well, Astrology 102 is up and of course $3 Thursday. And I would love to see you and connect with you in any of those places, including on Facebook as well. All right, Aquarius, so this month, as we're jumping in, kicking off the month, we're starting with a full moon happening in Virgo. And for you, at 11 degrees of Virgo, for you, this is happening in the eighth house. So this gives me the indication that something with your finances, which this is the time of year of taxes, insurance, debt, any of those kinds of things, those things could be in a little bit of a fluctuation right now because the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. You may need to make a change here. So there could also be someone who you either get money from that you don't earn or you pay money to and this could be in a, in a state of shift as well and I'm going to tell you because you have so much of your third house lit up this month and Mercury is also going retrograde it's not the month to just like fight for what you want rebellion revolution let's do this different this is not that month it is kind of a month where you have to pay attention and get into the flow of life see what information is being presented to you consider it before you make any really big deals or decisions. And that's something you may start to see right here at this full moon. Now on the sixth, we've got Mercury and Venus both going into your third house. Communication is going to speed up for sure, which could also mean your mental life gets a little bit busier. You could find yourself having a little bit more anxiety. You are an air sign. You are an intellectual of the mind sign. So you could just have a lot of information coming your way. Now where I think this is actually very good for you is if you have a contract to sign, especially anything to sign decisions to make regarding um, business. You might be very, very savvy at this time, but I would say do those things before the 22nd of March so you're not caught up in that retrograde energy, okay? But also having this energy here along with Uranus, your ruling planet as well in the third house, you could really be communicating differently or you're communicating a lot. You could even be communicating by getting a website going, writing a book, um, a blog, something like that. Your communication skills though are really heightened this month. Now on the 8th we have Jupiter who's our biggest planet and biggest benefic planet going retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. Now this is going to light up your 10th house of career. So Jupiter is here blessing you with abundance. You've probably started some new actions, activities, career things, soul level calling, whatever it is. I'm sure you're on your way and making some starts with those things. But Jupiter taking its retrograde, what it's going to do is still give you benefits, still give you blessings, but it may be a little bit slowed down and delayed. So this will just be an interesting energy you'll work with over the next four months. Just because it's not moving quickly doesn't mean that it's not moving. So please keep that in mind. Now on the 14th, I think this is a very important day for you to pay attention to. Jupiter, who is retrograde over here in your 10th house, is going to be in a semi-square to Saturn over here in the 12th house. And what this aspect says is you have to reorganize in order to take advantage of the Jupiter energy. So you've got to reorganize this quiet, shadow, secret place within you. This could be maybe you're working on a project, an idea, or something like that. You have to reorganize, restructure it, go back into it, and give it some grounding and some really solid foundation so that it can translate well into a business opportunity for you. And you'll have a little bit of time to work on that. But keep in mind that date because I think it's really significant and important. Now, on the 17th, we've got a new moon happening at 26 degrees of Pisces. This is going to light up your second health. While on the same day, Mars is moving into Capricorn, lighting up your 12th house. Where I see this translating for you, especially if you will restructure up here, is that you could be working on something behind the scenes that later turns into something financial that can pull money towards you. At the same time, I do feel like for some of you, because the new moon is an opportunity to start fresh, you could have been paying out debts or something like that that you really became aware of at the full moon at the beginning of the month, and you're starting to step into those 
those, get some closure around those, not be so fearful, all of those kinds of things. But whatever is happening between the second and the 12th house here, your finances may be involved and what you will likely need is a new plan or a new strategy around these things. So use this energy. Mars and Capricorn wants to help you, you know, in that quiet zone, but he's going to help you get something together so that you have a plan. Now, on the 20th, we've got the sun moving into Aries. We're also going to celebrate spring and the astrological new year. Very exciting time. On the 22nd, though, Mercury goes retrograde all the way until April 15th. This is also happening in Aries, so your third house. So now you're re-looking over how you communicate. Your communication could be flustered, flubbled, all of these other things. So you want to pay attention to that during a Mercury retrograde. Computers, software upgrades, technology, um, gosh, even just TV, cable. I mean, and even our own personal rewirings could feel a little bit backwards at this time and no one is exempt from a mercury retrograde so people could be communicating and lots of misunderstandings could be happening but where can you celebrate this look over some ideas you've had look over some writing some um, things maybe you've been putting together maybe they just need to be edited you didn't see these things before and you can see them now so that as you launch it forward when mercury comes out of retrograde it's the strongest it can be for you to communicate your message of whatever that is now at the end of the month on the 31st, we've got a full moon, our last full moon of the month happening in Libra at 10 degrees here. This is gonna be happening in your ninth house. So you could be ending something around, um, you could certainly be ending something around travel, around education, something like that. But one of the things I think you're also adjusting or coming to the end is, is you're getting a new perspective, which is really, I think, gonna be necessary because the deal is, is if you kind of can't get on board with this quiet reorganization time that you've kind of been given, I think you find yourself working against the grain a little bit and you don't need to be doing that Aquarius. So allow this energy to kind of take you so that you can see where the universe is trying to deliver you because that's the ride the wave. You know, the universe provides when the dude abides. That's the way that I think it's going to work for you this month, Aquarius. So try and get on, ride the wave, reconsider your thinking, relook at some of these physical writings or um, research things that maybe even that you're doing so you can launch them out successfully as we get towards April. All right, Aquarius, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sending you lots and lots of love, and I will see you in April. Bye.